I would really love uh, to see new stuff. Oh! 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 oh my god! Holy moly, Heath is out of there! That was a ton of damage coming and out from going back. Yeah, and this is the pressure that Diggy offers right now for Echo. Comboed with a carry, that's going to buy the carry a lot of time, right? I mean, all of your attention is going to be on this Diggy, whether alive or dead. It's going to give you all of the attention of your enemy. And that's exactly what heroes like carry wants in this specific matchup. Yeah, I mean, it's a very confident laning partner here to have with you on this uh, on this carry. They are showing the pressure up there, but there could be a possible kill here. Wrath Felicia is in trouble. He's getting a lot of damage, but he's going to back off. Yaknu as well. Bruno, a nice hero in terms of scaling as well. And scaling-wise, Rockheart, who has the advantage here? You got all the scales here on the right. Like, that's all Echo. So if you don't get an early fight, that's fine. They're happy with it. And that's just Reflecia resetting to get that mana back, obviously. And uh, we are back on. So as I was saying, even with their XP laner, Kurt Easy, with their non-turtle laner, they actually have a lot of scale. So expect Echo to try to draw this long. Don't be surprised by 22 minutes. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I feel like at a certain point, RK3 on the Sicilian is going to be able to just set things up really well. And then you throw in Rafflesha on the Diggy on top of it. And that's going to be a scary story for RSG that they have to have an answer for. And right now, you have four members. Echo looking for a kill. That's going to be a stun on Aqua. He's forced to that's flick her out. Yep, nice flicker there to survive, but again, they're just going to back off. Blue turtle is going to go ahead and turtle. be taken again by Demon Kite, an early turtle once again going over to RSG. Yeah, and that's exactly what the sacrifice is going to be for. Like, you're going to have a party on top, you're going to leave the bottom side vulnerable, and Demon Kite is very happy with that. Yeah, I mean, this is what happened in the last game too. Again, if RSG gets those objectives, gets uh, especially the turtles early on, that is really going to benefit their team composition because, as you mentioned, Rockheart Echo has the scaling advantage, especially with Sicilian in that case. And it's going to come to a point where, when we're talking about Lord fights, the value that is on Echo's side with a Diggy is going to show face a lot because RSG is relying a lot on their control, on their CC, especially with a real world manipulation. And with a proper time journey, that's going to negate negate all of that. At the same time, that's the problem with the uh, with the uh, Diggy pick here is that you don't really have a lot of solid frontline except for Hades right now. Uh, so Kuratizi, if he doesn't join the fight, it's all up to Hades to sustain that damage. Which, yes, there's a lot of damage here. Wow, RSG. Again, Yaknu on the Bruno, but hold on, here comes Hades. Goes in from the back. He tries to get someone targeted here. RK3 also here, but Hades might be in trouble. Here's the Sicilian 2, world, real world manipulation coming down. Demon Kite coming to join the party, but he's just going to back off again. It is a an issue if Curtizi is not able to join the fights, but if we saw, if any, if anything is a, a tall tale sign here of Curtizi's Esmeralda, we've seen it before. And I'm sure he can pull it off again as he goes one versus one with Nas, but this is just a battle of two heroes pretty much just going to be sustaining each other here, and not much will result for that one. For RSG though, again, they also can kind of buy time. Uh, Bruno spikes earlier, that's a good thing about this lineup, so they can take fights a lot faster here compared to a carry. Wow. Again. Bruno hurts a lot the moment you get like two items already and that by that time maybe they can be ready to roam and they probably have already taken down this turret. Yeah, there's three members here of RSG. They might be looking to pressure this turret. Mark A3 is here, here as well. There you go, the plate's being worked on. Oh, that's the pull right there. Can they follow up? He forces the flicker out from Heath and the flame shot coming out from Rafflesia. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Thank you, trying to block that. <laughs> but that's okay. Again, at this point, um, Echo is already getting the... Is that the second third turtle? No, the R RSG has what? secured yeah. the last two turtles. Yeah, Demon yeah, yeah, Kite has been... RSG. Yeah. yeah. Demon Kite, I think they already got the second turtle, right? Yes, the second yeah, turtle. That's a little bit delayed on the turtle right there. But yes, even if Echo gets these team fights, Turtle is always going to be on Demon Kite. He's such a happy farmer here. 
and his impact in the team fights are escalating because no one's taking notice of him yeah. at all in this whole game. He's like the Phantom Sixth Man of RSG <laughs> here. I mean, he's he's doing what Demon Kite does best, and uh, I mean, when he's forced to play a hero like Export, usually when we see Demon Kite playing assassins, you know, he's all around the map, being flashy, getting kills. But he knows that he can't do that with an Export, so why does might as well focus on objectives? And again, Hades showing up here to the top lane, looking for something to happen here, but he's just going to back off, protecting Curtizi. They have swapped the lanes. You now have Benny Cutie and Rafflesia in the bottom. Curtizi and Hades up there on the top. Sire actually very masterful. And I think Rafflesia might be in trouble times range and force off here, but Demon Kite still has that damage. Yep, there's not much he could have done there. Demon Kite surprising them. Benny Cutie should be able to be fine though here. And uh, one to one across the board here, pretty even as well. Low kill count game, surprisingly, right? Considering the heroes that they have. I mean, yeah. I expected RK3 to pop up a little bit here, but no, he's playing the the long game as well. I mean, Sicilians in general would want to play that long game. And as you said, Rockheart and Echo does have better scaling in terms of the Sicilian and Benicuti on this carry pickup. They would want to make the pace of this game slower. Yeah, and yeah that's another, exactly what's happening. And another turtle up. Again, this time, they're not going to just give this one to Demon Kai. They want to fight for it, so here they come. Rafflesia just around the corner. Real world manipulation come down. Hades goes and stuns him and ends that one. Aqua flickers out, but uh oh, Benny Cutie's in trouble. He it does have to get out of there. Curtizi as well. Rafflesia just around the corner. That's going to be a kill going over to Yaknu on the Bruno. And there you go. That's going to be a fight. RSG now in the lead, but Echo taking the turtle. Seem to be quite happy to just take anything they want on the map. And there's very little that Echo can do at this point without the help of, again, Curtizi the tank. Uh, it's very difficult for them to get a grasp of any of the team fights. And the earlier game synergy play of RSG is definitely getting felt here. Yeah, Hades doing his job though on Spasha, looking for Aqua. He's sitting in the bush, now he gets stunned, he might be in trouble. Wow, that's a lot of damage coming out from Yaknu. And there you go, a double kill again on this Bruno. Oh, what a monster, Nas has to retreat though. Benny Cutie as well, but hold on, Heath might not be done. He's going to slow RK3 as much as he can while the mid turret's being worked on. Curtizi just in the top portion. Gold is definitely going a lot faster for RSG right now. This could mean that the game might get finished sooner as well. Because again, items are starting to build up on the Bruno as well. 3-0-0. Zero and zero. Yeah. And the towers are draining. Towers are going down exactly like they want to for RSG. The thing is, Curtizi picking up that brute force plate. So he is going to be a little bit more tanky now. And that might be what Echo needs. I mean, they need more of a front line for them to really go head-to-head -head with RSG because Red Hades' Team job Turret here is destroyed. literally just go find Aqua and end that end that ultimate. I mean, that's his job, so Curtizi has to be there. And at the same time, they're still waiting for RK3 to come online with the Sicilian. Yeah, that's going to take a lot of time. Lots and lots of time here. And time is something that RSG Red does Turret not want to give Echo right now. Even with this early Lord, they could probably go for it and they could get it. Right now, they are focusing on just getting the map back destroyed. on their favor. Or maybe a team fight on mid. Yeah, they're just going to back off. Lord is up. It is a level 1 Lord. There's Hades. He's going to the back lanes. And now Naz as well looking for a pull, but he's not going to be able to get it. Hades is in trouble. Real world manipulation coming down. There's the time journey on top of it. Now Curtizi, the target to be focused. Wow, look at the damage. Whoa! Mega kill going over to Yaknu. The pull as well from Naz. And this is a disaster for Echo. You know what I love about this matchup? We see Yaknu pop off like that. We see Benny Cutie pop off like that. You see the wholeness of these players. Like They used to be like just the side lane XP gold laners that yeah. you don't notice. But now they are showing themselves in their true colors. They're the cores of their teams. They are showing up strong on both on this matchup, like back and forth. Yeah, both sides. I got. I gotta say this too. I mean, all these players pulling their weight, whether it's RSG or Echo in the previous games too. Everyone is doing what they need to do. Uh, we talked about. We talk a lot about Demon Kite, but also Yaknu. I mean, showing up time and time. The the experience is there, and. 
the shot calling from RSG now is it's going great for them. Again, now they're knocking on this tier two turret here of Echo while Lord is marching up top. And Red team this could turret be a has really been destroyed. Yeah. Fast game in our hands, ladies and gents. Almost love and miss. Lord's already on top. Mid could also be pushed in. Yep. Demon Kai working on the bottom as well. What's Echo gonna do? Real time win rate. RSG with the lead for 66% here. Red Lord gets one destroyed. turret down. That's one. Two turrets stand. Echo's going to be able to finally take out this Lord. They're trying to buy time for RK3 to come online, but it might be too late because RSG is now knocking on the door of Echo at the mid lane and the bottom lane. And they're just going to be focusing on these two turrets as much as they can. But again, if they go head to head here, RSG has the advantage. And Echo right now, though. Echo defending as best as they can. I mean they got a good wave clear, so I don't I don't doubt that Echo can actually defend this. The problem is if a big oh. fight breaks out, like what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. And they gotta stay careful with Nats. He does have the flicker, could go in for the miracle pool. There you go. Hades jumping in the back lane to end Aqua there, but there's the flicker coming out from Heath. Unstoppable Yaknu sitting at 5 0 oh, and that's gonna be a kill also going over to Demon Kite again. There, Mortality. he goes down and Mortality's coming up. Turret's still up as well. Naz, wow, with the flicker pull! Gets a kill, Kurt in trouble. He's got to retreat. Benny Cutie trying his best as well. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness, look at the damage. The monster kill from Iyaknu. And this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. RSG looking to end game number three here. If they can, all they have to do is focus down on the base. Can they do it? No, sir. Here they are. Real world manipulation coming Going down. God in. like Iyaknu. Again, the damage from this Bruno is absolutely insane. That's going to be a mid turret going down. Can Hades? Somebody Kirk stop Hades. him! Can they defend RK3 trying his best? The turret is locked the base, but the minions are being cleared and they can't do it. He finally gets shut down by RK3, wait, the double massive. kill. Wait. This is what Echo needed, and they are back into the game. All right, 4,000 in gold just. 4,000? What? I think it was a massive shift. I think it was around 6,000 until two yeah. shutdown kills went to the hands of RK3. Oh my Huge gosh, shutdowns. that is big. Yep. Uh, so that means Echo's just, even with an empty base, they could probably still have the items to take these fights yeah, if they want to. And again, they don't need a massive lead. They just need time. What a defense from Echo. Beautiful. I mean, just a beautiful defense. They didn't give up there. They were able to clear the minions, get some kills, get some items out of that too. I mean, those are big shutdowns. So we're going to see the head-to-head -head fight on this next Lord coming up in about 19 seconds. Yeah, and talking about items, very good pickup, by the way, for uh, Betty Cutie to pick up that uh, um, Wind of Nature. Mm -hmm. Make sure he doesn't just get bursted with two hits. Yep, <laughs> there you go, forcing Heath to flicker out. Hades on top of everyone. There's the real world manipulation. And look at Demon Kite from the back. What's he gonna do? Wow, the damage. It's too much for them to handle. Triple kill for Demon Kite on the X board. And that's what we're talking about, the strength of Demon Kite coming in. And could they take the Lord here? They are pretty low, but they have some sustain with that Rafle Raffaella. <laughs> with the Raffaella. <laughs> My God. We have found your weakness. <laughs> My God. <laughs> My God. <laughs> All right, so we have this back in position. That's very, very good. And the yep. crits are... RK3 oh, going in, but there's a lot of damage on Kurtizi. Look at the damage from Yaknu. That's going to be a kill for him. RK3's in trouble. Ball after ball, that's going to be a double kill. And on top of that, the Lord is being and worked on. But hold on, Rafflesha. No, sir. Yaknu's there. Just pure, big, damn, triple kill. Yeah, you can't shield yourself out of that one. No matter how big your shield is on the time journey, there's just no way you can defend against the critical hits of a pumped full item Bruno. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it as RSG is now in the base of Echo and they're just going to turret lock the base, forcing them out with the damage, a mega kill for Demon Kite, and RSG takes the series 2-1. to one. Look at that. That's all she wrote. <laughs> That's having a lot of fun there.